Hello, my name is Robert Kiyosaki, and I'm one of the authors of this book, Rich Dad, Poor Dad. Rich Dad, Poor Dad is a true story about my two dads, one my real dad and one of my best friend's father. My real dad was the head of education for the state of, state of Hawaii, and my, the man I call my rich dad was my best friend's father, who ulti ultimately became one of the wealthiest men in Hawaii. So Rich Dad, Poor Dad begins when I was just nine years old with the six basic lessons my rich dad gave me about money. For those of you who read the book, you, re you may recall the story of how my rich dad, I started working for my rich dad at the age of nine, and he was paying me 10 cents an hour. And the agreement was he would teach me about the subject of money. So after working for three hours a, a, in three hours on a Saturday and getting paid 30 cents, you know, even way back then in the dark ages, 10 cents an hour wasn't very much. And I got very upset. So I went to see my rich dad. I said, you know, you, I, I, th I thought you were going to teach me about money. Why, you, you know, you, and you haven't taught, taught me anything. I'm getting 10 cents an hour. And he says, I am teaching you a lot right now. So I said, well, my, my dad, my real dad, was saying, I need to ask you for a raise. And at that point, my rich dad said, I'm teaching one of the most valuable lessons you'll ever learn. And he took my 10 cents an hour away. He didn't give me the pay raise. And he asked me at that point if I, if I was willing to work for nothing, to work for free. So lesson number one from Rich Dad, Poor Dad is a very important lesson that he was teaching me. And that lesson number one was that the rich don't work for money. In other words, what my rich dad was trying to teach me at that moment was that if you wanted to be rich, I had to learn not to work for money, but how to have money work for me. So going into further detail on lesson number one, if you ask any accountant, an accountant will tell you there's three basic types of income. First one is earned income. So when somebody says, go to school, get a job, and work hard for money, basically what you're working hard for is earned income. The trouble with earned income is probably one of the most highly taxed income there is. So it's very hard to get rich on earned income. When my rich dad advised me to not work for money, but have money work for me, he was advising me to work hard for portfolio income, which is income from paper assets such as stocks, bonds, uh, insurance and mutual funds, things like that, or to work very hard for passive income. And passive income is income that generally comes from real estate. Of all the incomes, my rich dad said, if you wanted to be rich, I had to learn not to work hard for money, but to work hard instead for portfolio income and passive income. So what makes a person ultimately rich is not so much this, earned income, but really working hard to acquire assets that produce portfolio income from paper assets or passive income. So the question I ask most of you today, one of the lessons is, the question is, what percent of your income right now comes from earned, portfolio, or passive? If you ultimately want to be rich, what a rich person knows how to do is to convert earned income to portfolio and passive. One of the reasons I created this board game here, Cash Flow, it's a very sophisticated, patented board game. That game was designed to teach people, to train people the same things my rich dad taught me, which was how, again, to convert earned income to portfolio into passive. The reason I could retire at a very early age was not because I had a high-paying job, but primarily because I had lots of portfolio and, most importantly, passive income from real estate. Going to one more lesson. The second book I came up with is a book here called The Cash Flow Quadrant, Rich Dad's Guide to Financial Freedom. This is book number two that followed after Rich Dad, Poor Dad. The Cash Flow Quadrant goes into a lot more detail, and this is, for those who have not read the book, a diagram of the Cash Flow Quadrant. These are the four people that make up the world of business, let's say. E stands for employee, S stands for self-employed or small business, the B stands for business owner, and the I stands for investor. It was my poor dad who said to work hard and go to school, get good grades, and find a job. He was advising me to work into the employee quadrant or the S quadrant, like he said, if you want to be rich, be a doctor, things like this. My rich dad, on the other hand, taught me how to work to become a business owner or investor. We go to school to learn this side of the quadrant. If you wanted to be rich, 
and make a lot of money, I had to learn these skills on this site. So as I said, most of our work at richdad.com is designed to teach people or give people the education, not so much to be on this side of the quadrant, but to be on, on the, what I call the right-hand side of the quadrant, so that it's the right-hand side of the quadrant that learns how to create portfolio and passive income. So those, that was lesson number one. Lesson number one is the rich don't work for money. What I learned to do instead to, is to be a business owner, to build businesses, and then to buy real estate.